on April the 22nd, 2021, we from PFI will be celebrating the Earth. On an online meeting, we will join together with many pagans from all over the world. But our friends Alana Moore decided to present a series of presentations about her homeland, Australia and Ireland. Here we have now part two, Geomancing the Spirit of Place in Europe and Ireland with Alana Moore. My Celtic ancestors came from Cumbria, Cornwall and Ireland. When I first visited Ireland in 2000, I resonated so much. My connections to landscape went so much deeper here than in Australia. I kept returning and I'm now married to an Irishman and living the good life on one hectare of permaculture paradise. Dowsing and geomancy teaching work has taken me across Europe and Asia. And while things may look different in other places, there are many similarities on the energetic, spiritual levels to be found. Here I am, dowsing on Heapston Cairn in County Sligo. The medieval legend of this huge cairn says that the stones were put there to cover over a sacred well associated with herbal healing. It must have been a story created to reinforce the suppression of the old religion. My pendulum swings wildly as a strong indication of water energy. The dowsing of some of stone arrangements in Britain reveals typically energetic forms and patterns associated with them, despite many stones often being destroyed. This modern stone circle at Glastonbury was designed by dowsers and has the same energetic pattern as old ancient ones, but it feels much happier for being intact and used at festivals. With high numbers of tourists at famous sites such as Stonehenge here, I prefer less visited sites myself. Then you can really soak up the spirits of place. This is a freely accessible stone circle complex in a forest in northwest Poland where we took students to practice dowsing and feeling the strong energies. Many energetic phenomena have been observed there. This photo taken by a local guide shows light phenomena. A unique painting of the site by a clairvoyant artist shows much coloured energy flows. In Ireland, there are many stone circles, such as this Bronze Age group in County Tyrone. Being more stone circles were found relatively intact and covered from under three metres of peat that had grown over them in a blanket bog for 3,000 years. Several of the stone rows there have summer sources alignments dating to that time. Originally forested before the climate got wetter, in Neolithic times. This now barren landscape was used as farmland for over 2,000 years. Stone field walls found under peat layer crisscross the land and also run beneath the stone circles. Beltany Stone Circle is in a quiet location on farmlands near Apu in County Donegal.
Then there are the balloons, the ancient cup marked boulders whose original ceremonial functions may be mostly forgotten, but they're still held in respect. Adapted to Christian use, they gained a reputation both as blessing stones and cursing stones. It depended on how you turned them in their hollows. Sunwise for blessings and widdershins for a curse to avenge some injustice. Balloons can be found in some remote rural churchyards, such as this one near Black Lion in County Cavan. The earth energies are powerful here and a team of guardian spirits plus local farmers help to protect it. Many Irish holy wells have beautiful magical energies to connect with. People still visit them on the holy day of the patron saint, such as St. Kieran, Kieran's well in County Meath on the first Sunday in August. Its various pools traditionally hold cures for different ailments and they were drunk from and feet were dipped into them. While people would also hope to get a glimpse of a sacred trout after midnight. This holy well at Killigoo County Latrim is like a nature temple with big old trees a haven for nature spirits, a gentle place, as people once alluded. An annual Christian ceremony is performed here. And what of the serpent force? Serpent spirits go back to the dawn of human society, such as this one in southern India, where childless women visit the sacred snake statues to pray for a baby. Did St. Patrick really expel all the snakes in Ireland to, in order to introduce Christianity as the legend goes? Or was it just symbolic propaganda concocted by medieval monks? Snakes have never lived in Ireland, but the force, the serpent forces once honoured here, as everywhere, are found in the dowsing and clairvoyance to be st still resident in the landscape, as vibrant as ever. On the crest of scholarly family the Ardugans, County Leitrim, two serpents of wisdom embrace a sacred tree, watched over by a wise owl and steeped in ancient culture between a harp and a book of learning. St Barry's Well in County Roscommon is typical. The legend has it that Barry chased a serpent spirit out of the Reverend Holy Well and sent it off to a nearby lake. By dowsing, you can follow a serpentine earth energy line coming out of the well, going down the road and into the lake. That's right, the serpent is still there. It's always a joy to share the experience of interacting with nature spirits. By practicing diva dowsing, one can learn to easily connect with other dimensional worlds. Here, students are practicing sensing a water spirit by dowsing with their hands alone.
Water spirits don't always have a serpentine form. Here at the Shannon Pod in County Cavan, the traditional source of the gentle river Shannon, river goddess Shannon lives with her water spirit family. And after heavy rains, the pool seethes with legendary upwellings of bubbles of inspiration. A student clairvoyantly saw this being in the Shannon pot. I also see Shannon in mermaid form. I've written several books that feature Irish themes. This one covers stone circles, stone arrangements, mythos and instructions to make your own. Cover photo is of a prayer stone altar blessing and cursing stones in a remote ruined Irish churchyard in County Roscommon. These are all available from the website www.geomantica.com Touchstones for today from Alana Moore. I've also made an album with Irish mythos themed songs this CD, White Swan Dreaming, is available on CD and online at Bandcamp from www.geomantica.com. Thank you for listening and hopefully you'll be able to hear some of Alana's music online. Thank you.